877 tell HLN. And we're not going after Miley Cyrus here, but she just kickstarted a great conversation. And Suzanne Summers jumped in. So let's listen to that. This is Suzanne Summers on the CBS show, The Talk. And, uh, well, let's just say she's still getting it going with her husband. Can I just ask you? Uh huh. How often do you have sex? Because I, 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 I would like to know. You really want to know? Yes, I do. Uh, and I don't want this to be unlikable or anything, but we're, he's on hormones and I'm on hormones. And If you say more than three times a week, I'm just going to go crazy. A couple times a day. <laughs> There you go, man. You better believe everybody went wild in the audience there and the panel. Suzanne Summers, 68, her husband's even older, and uh, twice a day. How about that? Again, we'll take your calls later, but right now we want to bring in our clinical psychologist, Dr. Judy Ho. Judy, what do you think of that? 68 years old and twice a day. Well, I love that, Mike. And, you know, the statistics actually show what Suzanne is telling us. I, think, I still think that she's at the top of the curve. But over 75% <laughs> of people over the ages of 65 are sexually active. There's totally a myth about the fact that sex has to stop at really any age. And most of the things that actually hinder people from having sex when they get older are medical issues. And as Suzanne just said, you know, both her and um, her man are on hormones. And so that obviously helps them to resolve some of those issues that might get in the way. Okay, and again, and that's great. And we, we want everybody to have these robust, healthy sex lives. But I wanna show you some Huffington Post uh, basically threw out something there that what would you rather have than sex? Top eight, sleep, cell phones. How about number four, a slab of bacon? Uh, the internet is in there. <laughs> Youth, people want to be young again. So it's not great for everybody, though. It's, it, can, it, can, it can become challenging as we get older. Isn't that right? Yes, it does. And I think some of the physical disabilities also get in the way when you're older and you do start to want more different types of things. Mm -hmm. Now, bacon, I think that's just something that people love all their <laughs> lives. But, you know, <laughs> but but older people as they as they age, they do have problems sleeping. Most older people don't sleep throughout the night. You know, they often wake in the middle of the night. They have problems getting to sleep. So I can see why that's at the top of the list. Yeah. Don't we have to make it a priority, have to make each other a priority again? You know, and maybe not focus on the kids as much. And maybe that uh, husband-wife relationship, per se, has got to be number one again. That's right, Mike. So many people, after they have children, their priorities are all about the children and those family members. And then when their children grow up, they don't know how to find themselves in their relationships again. And so as they get older and the children move out of the house, they have to rediscover their passion for each other. And they shouldn't listen to what's in the media or think about what their friends might be doing because every relationship is different. And even when you're old, you can still have passion. It might not be the kind of sex you were having when you were in your 20s, but it can still be really nice loving sexual relationships that go. are going on. Judy, you ready to take some calls? Get yep, ready. I am. All right. Are we going to okay. take some calls in a little bit? Sex after 40? Is it thump? I'm getting myself all ready here. We're going to take your calls, and here's the topic. Uh, sex life after 40, kaput or not? one eight seven seven tell hln is the number. Her jumping off point, Miley Cyrus. She's joking around with Matt Lauer on the NBC Today Show, and she says, you know what I hear? After 40, down the drain you go. Let's listen. Is it a phase? Is this a phase? Is the sexual side of you that we're seeing a lot of right now something that's going to be here for a while and then move on to something else? Well, I heard when you turn 40, things start to go a little don't less sexual. That. So probably that. around 40, around that time, I heard that's when people don't have sex anymore. So I guess maybe around then. Do you know how old I am? I'm going to guess 40. <laughs> you don't. I love you again. <laughs> All right, there you go, the back and forth. But, hey, a lot of people are weighing in on this one. We want you to as well. We have our expert, Judy Ho, psychologist with us. All right, Judy, let's get to some calls. Marie is with us in Arkansas. Marie? Here I am, finally. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. By the way, you're adorable. I hey, watch thanks. you all the time. Uh-oh, here we go. Thanks for All right, <laughs> I'm 62 years old. I think uh, sex is way more fun and way more uninhibited and if you take care of yourself and you feel good people over 40 know stuff that you didn't know when you were younger <laughs> wow well, oh and that laugh that laugh uh, says it all marie <laughs> so after 40 it's all thumbs up huh oh heck yeah it's just when the fun begins you know all right <laughs> marie love it love the laugh and marie uh 
Well, raring to go, let's say that. Judy, so, uh, well, she's talking about, uh, and a serious point out of all that is just, you know, with age comes wisdom. And sometimes that means, it can mean better sex, right? That's right, Mike. When you get older, you learn more things and you know what you want in a, in a better way. And so that's what she's speaking to there. That experience has given her a better sex life now at 62 than she was when she was younger. And playfulness, having that playful energy. I mean, you mm -hmm. can hear it through the phone as she yeah, was you flirting can. with you a little bit there, Mike. <laughs> and you know, that's good for you. That playfulness helps with the sex life. It's fun to play with your partner. Just because you get older doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice that. Yeah. It can still be fun. Good for Marie and me, huh? Here we go. Uh, Jan is that's with right. us in Florida. <laughs> hey, Jan. Uh, Jan, how are things? Oh, fine, thanks. Jan, what do you say about this? Sex life after 40, thumbs up or thumbs down? It's non-existent for me. Uh oh. And most of the people I know. <laughs> really? Okay. What were some of the reasons, Jan? Is it health issues? Is it, you know, relationships that go bad? What, what's going on? Well, the first one would be bad relationships in the past, and the second one would be um, the health issues. I I had a stroke about three years ago, three and a half years ago, so this it's non-existent anymore. Hmm. You doing okay, Jan? Mm -hmm. You recovering all right? So far, yeah. So far, all right. Thanks, so well, far. Every day, still. Okay, well, hey, thanks for calling in, Jan. And then, you know, yeah, we've had a lot of great callers that are very energetic and, and you know, happy to talk about mm -hmm. their sex lives. But the honest fact is what Jan's talking about. Relationships can go bad. And what about the health issues? How can you overcome that? Some medications can make the sex life go bad, right, Judy? That's right. And, you know, medications can help to a degree, but it's also helpful for the individual to start to redefine what sex is. It doesn't have to be the sex that you were having in your 20s or your 30s. Sex can be about sharing intimacy by kissing, touching, sensual massage, um, masturbation, oral sex. You know, it doesn't have to be actual sexual intercourse. Got it. Okay, there you go. Some tips through all of that. We're going to take more of your calls Miley is lined up. I wonder if it's that one. There's the music. Feel the beat and call me up. 1-877-TELL-HLN. <laughs>